Hey fishing friends, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I throw a 6 or an 8 foot cast net. Now, a while ago I made a video of how to throw a cast net really easily. I'll put a link up here in this video to that. That was actually a 6 foot net I was throwing. And uh, yeah, that was a really easy method. But this method, you guys, I'm going to show you how to throw a cast net without putting the net like up over your shoulder or putting a lead line in your mouth. All right, guys, so we got a, I got a six foot net here. This is a crab bite net. It's a three quarter inch mesh on this. I use this for like casting for mullet and stuff. If you're throwing for bait, you wanna have a smaller mesh on your net. You wanna have like quarter inch or three eighths. The smaller the mesh is, the slower the net sinks, the larger the message, the mesh, the mesh is, the faster the leads, the net sinks, okay? So uh, yeah, if you're in deeper water, you wanna, you want to consider that the problem with using like smaller mesh or larger mesh on nets for bait fish they get stuck in there so i use the quarter inch mesh net for like pinfish and greenbacks and then i use the three quarter inch for like mullet okay all right or for <laughs> looking for gopros whenever you lose your gopro in the deep water like i did the other day all right enough gabbing out of me all right you guys so i don't know much about cast nets but i do know how to throw one this is the horn okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this net and i'm going to lift it up just kind of straight like this just straighten it out now cast nets have this little separator you guys i have a, a broken i don't know if that's a braille line or what kind of line that is the monofilament lines anyway i got a broken one we're gonna we're gonna do this tutorial anyway it's gonna work fine but this net, it has a separator for the monofilament lines right here. So you grab that separator and then just pull down on that and then that'll, that'll clear out and, and get those lines so that they're not twisted. Once I do that, I'm just gonna take the net, I'm gonna jerk it just kinda like that. Give it a good jerk it around a little bit. And ensure that all of those lines are nice and nice and straight running out through the middle of the net all right i'm going to go ahead and coil up my rope slide that onto my wrist um, i'm going to throw this with my right hand i'm best with my right hand put that on my wrist and then i, I just come out like an arms arms length or so and then i start coiling the rope that's probably about you know a foot to 16 inches down there on the coils reach down here I'm gonna grab grab my net when I get to the end then with my net I'm gonna reach down here well first I'm first I'm gonna lift my net up and make sure that it's not twisted anywhere I want this net to just all be running straight down here okay once I do that I'm gonna grab this net about a foot and a half down a foot foot and a half down that's my my first grab on the net is right there all right, guys, so the next step, I want to make sure my net is untangled. I just lift it up. I've got the, the lead lines are kind of like just barely touching the ground. Lift them up a little bit, grab the net, and just kind of sift through it like that to make sure that none of the lead lines are tangled or wrapped up any, in any way that they're not supposed to be. All right, so that's looking really good. That's nice and clear there. All right, now once I've done that, I'm still holding this. I've got the coil up here and I'm holding it, you know, about a foot and a half foot down. Once I've done that, I know my net is straight, okay? I'm gonna lay this down on the ground and I'm gonna split this out in thirds. One third, third, and a third. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pull this over to that side. There it is, I've got a, a, a third of the net over here, third of the net here, and about a third of the net in the middle. All right, my net's in thirds. I slide down to just my, my thigh, just above my knee. I take this and, and I curl it, okay, in that direction. I've got this hand here and I, I curl it in front. Let me show you that again. This and roll it in front like that. Just creates a little loop that my hand goes into. One more time, all right, got it here. I'm bringing this in front, I roll it, create that loop, and I put my hand in it. All right, I've got my hand here. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this third over here, my free hand, 
on this side. I'm going to grab this third of the net. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to open this hand, okay? And I'm going to lay that in there, and I'm just going to grab it, all right? And what I just did is I kept that in the front, okay? That's kind of like in the front of my knuckles. I didn't bring it back around over here on the back side, okay? I didn't roll it all the way back over here. I'm going to show you one more time. Grab it here, all right? Just lift it up. See how I'm just kind of kinking it right there? That's all I'm doing. Grab it down here. I'd say that's about a foot and a half, about a foot down that I'm grabbing. It. Okay, from this hand to that hand. Got that little kink going there. I open up this hand and I just lay that net and I just kind of lay it over in the front like that. All right, guys, so this is what that looks like. You've got the lead lines are higher than the ones on this side, okay? The ones that you just loop are higher than the ones on this side, all right? Now you're keeping the net in front of you like this. The next step is reach down here, okay? Right down here and just grab a lead line, all right? That's the next step. Now we're ready to throw this net. Now when I throw this net, okay, I'm facing forward this way. I'm gonna twist my body back around like this and I'm gonna throw this net sidearm like that, all right? Sidearm all the way around. And my release is somewhere like right about here, about 45 degrees, all right? I'm not releasing it here. My release is right about here, okay? So I'm doing a sidearm, boom. Right here, I release it. I'm throwing that net where I want it to go. I hold on to this lead line with this hand I throw it, I'm holding onto this lead line until I feel it get tight. And as it gets tight, I take my hand here and I spin it back underneath. And that causes that net to spin and it'll open up. Here we go. Side on. You see that spin right there at the end? We're back. Huh. We're back. It's a side arm and twist. Twist. And that opened up pretty good. I didn't throw it very far because I wanted you guys to see what I was actually doing. Let's bring it in a little closer, shall we? I think from this angle, you'll be able to see that twist of the net. So it's looking good. Grab it a foot, foot and a half down. Separate it into thirds. Slide down, middle of my thigh. Grab the one third, lay it over the front, reach down. Grab the long braille line, lead line, long lead line. All right, here we go. Side arm. <laughs> that was real action right there. I really do know how to throw a cast net. Let's do this again. Split it into thirds. Reach down, middle of the thigh. Grab it. Put that one third there. Grab the lead line down at the bottom. Here we go. Let me back up a little bit so I don't get you this time. <laughs> it's a sidearm throw. But watch this hand, how I spin with it. Spin that baby. Let me show you. That net opened up a really nice opening on that net. Look, I got a full opening on that net. And it's that little spin at the end, and it's the sidearm, you guys. You got to work on the sidearm throw with this and, and spinning it. All right guys, so that method will work for a six foot or an eight foot cast net. I'll put a link up here to my other video that shows me throwing a six foot cast net. You can throw it really fast and you can throw it really easy, but you have to put the lead in your mouth. And uh, yeah, it's super fast, fat, <laughs> it's super fast. All right, thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up or appreciated. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya.